How's it going, everybody? Uh, YouTube, how you doing out there? So, like for me, uh, as always, say on these reviews, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, definitely be putting more reviews up. Um, I'm in the middle of uh, watching the original Top Gun, and then I'm going to uh, watch Maverick, and then I'm going to review Maverick. Um, I don't know, I might, I might just review both of them. Uh, the only reason I'm rewatching the first one is because I haven't seen it in years, so I definitely want to, you know, get my mind fresh, you know, so that way I you know, have, my, have my mind fresh on the first and the second one. So, uh, got a lot of reviews coming out here as well. So, uh, again, this is part of the 2022 uh, film reviews that I'm going to be doing. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing 2023 movies as well. So, the movie we're talking about is Banshees of Inna Sharon. Uh, it's directed by Martin uh, Donnell, I believe that's his name. Martin Martin Donnell. His, his, um... Yeah, Martin, McDon Martin McDonough. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. Uh, so... And uh, this his name sounded really familiar, but he usually does a lot of he usually does like these really dark comedies. Uh, he's directed some of my favorite movies. Uh, he's directed in Bruges back in two thousand eight. He directed uh, Seven Psychopaths, and he also directed uh, he directed uh, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Uh, one uh, another one of my favorite movies, uh, Three Billboards for sure. Uh, so uh, now coming into this movie, I I really didn't know much about it. Um, I heard about it from uh, it was a recommendation from from a friend at work. Uh, he's pretty big on theater as well too. I, I've mentioned him before in, in my videos, but uh, so I decided to watch this and. This uh, this is a really good movie. Uh, like I said, I, I haven't heard anything about it. Um, I knew only two actors in this whole movie when I saw the trailer. Uh, he showed me the trailer. I only knew um, Colin Farrell, of course. Everybody knows Colin Farrell. Um, but I don't think anybody actually knows who Brendan Gleeson is. And... Brennan Gleeson, I've seen him in other stuff too. He's an amazing actor. Uh, he usually puts his all into his roles. And I really, I just really did enjoy this. Uh, I, I mean, it's, so it's a movie about two friends and they just abruptly, just out of nowhere, their friendship just ends. Something, uh, I'm not going to ruin it. Um, in the movie, but it is something that it's it's really weird because it's like their friendship in the movie just causes this big ripple effect. Like it's like uh, it's like because their friendship ended, other things start uh, start building into each other, and just it, it just gets worse, you know, uh, throughout the movie. And like I said, the movie is really funny. Um, it's it's yeah, it's crazy to say this. The movie is kind of dark, but it's it's funny in how dark it is. And if you see it, like you'll 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 watch it. Like, like I said again, this guy he does movies like this. Um, three three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri, um, had some humorously dark uh, parts in it as well too. So you're gonna kind of get the same thing out of this movie as well um i said brendan gleason is amazing colin farrell's amazing and the thing that threw me off about colin farrell because i just i saw him the same year in the batman and i always i don't know like every movie i've seen him in phone booth um just a whole bunch of movies i always thought he was just flat out american i've never i never knew he was irish uh until i heard saw this movie and I'm like, oh, he's he's got the you know he's got an Irish accent, you know. I, I didn't know he was Irish at all, so that took me by surprise throughout the whole movie. Uh, he, he's speaking with an Irish accent, and I was watching. Was like, is he 
doing an Irish, because he's really good if he's doing an Irish accent. But uh, like I said, looked him up, and sure enough, he, he is Irish American. So uh, I, I don't really know if that's his uh, if that's his actual accent, but he he's amazing with it, man. Like this whole this movie is just really good. Um, I really like that kid too. What was the kid? I'm trying to remember the kid's name in there too. Um, I mean, this was Academy. I think this was nominated. I don't think it won, but I think it was. I think it was nominated for. It was nominated for Best Picture. Yeah, this this movie is worth it. Um, I will say one thing about it. It is a really slow movie. There's not a whole lot going on. I mean, I mean, it's not like uh, it's a really slow and quiet film. So I mean, if you if you like movies like that, uh, definitely check it out. But it's just it's a movie with really good characters in it. I think really good dialogue. The dialogue in this movie is amazing. This it's it's got phenomenal dialogue, and um and this director uh, Martin uh, McDonough he he just knows how to do dialogue. Like his dialogue has never uh has never faltered, and it shows here too. Like his dialogue is just really good, man. He just knows how to write characters. So we have uh, Barry Keoghan, I think is that kid's name. And he plays he plays uh, Dominic in the movie, and I really thought he was um, he was he was kind of like the he was kind of like the per perverted character. <laughs> he, like he just kept like he's being perverted towards like women and stuff like that. He's he's like that kid that he's that kid that runs into a woman and he just doesn't know how to talk to her so he comes off really vulgar <laughs> like he just immediately goes for it uh and he sounds really inappropriate so I, I just thought his character was pretty funny too uh let's see who else and then i really um i really like carrie condon um the the uh she plays uh uh Sh Shaban, I think that's how, I think that's what her name was. Shaban, I really liked her in this movie. Um, I she was I think out of everyone in here, she's probably my favorite character. She was she was easily my favorite character in this. Uh, it like uh, I, I see why she was nominated for support best supporting character because she was she was very good in this. Um, I really laughed at some of the stuff in here. Um, Oh my goodness! Like it, it, you know, the part where the part where Brendan Gleeson is trying to tell her that uh, um, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to hang out with, he doesn't want to hang out with a particular character because that character's boring, and then she just goes like she's like, well, well, you're all boring, you know? Like it, it was just so funny. <laughs> like, she's like, because Anna Sheeran is like this little boring like small farm island pretty much it's like an island so it, there's not really uh a lot going on and then this is back in the 1930s i believe i think it's like the 1930s of the nine i think it's 1930s so it is like a period piece as well too um but i really uh enjoy this because you know like i said these people are pretty much boring they're all plain uh, <laughs> saying they're all they're all stuck on this island together too, and uh, and they they I don't want to ruin it also, but they uh, they kind of give you an explanation, uh, like uh, the whole the whole title of the movie, the Banshees of Inisherin. Uh, like when you watch it and everything, and kind of pay attention to it, 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 the title even makes sense as well too, as why they call it that. Uh, but no, this this is a really good movie, and it just like as quiet and as dialogue and character heavy as it is, uh, it does escalate. Like I said, everything just escalates, man, and it just it it keeps escalating from there. So yeah, definitely check this out, man. Like I said, this is a really good one. Uh, I am going to give this my um, high recommend rating. This is definitely going to be. Uh, I highly recommend this one. Uh, like I said, it, it 
it really it really keeps you going and it's funny like it's a hilarious movie like throughout it's it's really funny uh and it's just well written so uh definitely check this one out man like i said it's really a movie about the i swear, swear to you the whole movie is pretty much about two friends who are just not friends anymore and it, 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 it's and that's a good movie so definitely check this one out uh this is my review for banshees of anna sharon uh, like i said uh if you would just like comment subscribe and see you in the next video peace